Hello, YouTube. I'm sure you're not that surprised that I'm back. You must have known that no matter how busy my life got, I would still come back to review the next Oliver Stone film. And people, this is a day that I have long been waiting for. Snowden is a triumphant return to form, unlike any film he's done in at least a decade. I should reiterate that from Salvador to Nixon, Oliver Stone had a veritable golden age where he made one great film after another. While he's yet to make a completely worthless movie, his post-golden age has been a mixed bag. But when I heard he was making a movie about Edward Snowden, I knew he had once again found a subject which would bring up the fiery passion which fueled Platoon, JFK, Wall Street, and Born on the Fourth of July. I would especially include Born on the Fourth of July, because Edward Snowden's story has a couple of parallels to Ron Kovic. He starts out as a patriot who loves his country and sees any criticism of said country as being invalid or incorrect. Once he's exposed to the truth, however, he becomes disillusioned and realizes that blind patriotism is exactly the kind of attitude which allows horrible things to continue being done. Snowden will no doubt be compared to the brilliant documentary Citizen Four, but Snowden openly declares that it's a dramatization, and it's also larger in scope. We follow Snowden through ten years of his life, as played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. And this might very well be my favorite Joseph Gordon-Levitt performance. He really disappears into the persona of Snowden as he uncovers the truth behind the NSA and what it's done in the name of national security on a global scale. The cast is rounded out with great performances by Tom Wilkinson, Zachary Quinto, Melissa Leo, Shailene Woodley, Scott Eastwood, and Risa Fons. There is also a cameo by Nicolas Cage, but despite his decent acting, his presence is just too distracting for such a small role. While Shailene does a really good job as Lindsay Mills, Risa Fons as Snowden's CIA mentor is arguably the best supporting actor in the film. He gives a very reserved performance as a man who's fueled by his patriotism. He blames himself for 9-11 being able to happen, and he's determined to never let it happen again. He makes his case defending the CIA and the NSA, and for a while, Snowden wholeheartedly agrees. Overall, I really like this film. Just like most Oliver Stone films, it's brilliantly shot and edited. My favorite moment would have to be where Snowden is leaving the NSA building for the last time, and the scene becomes an homage to Plato's ancient allegory of the cave. And just like the first man who crawled out of that cave, Snowden saw the truth and went to warn his disillusioned brethren that what they believed was a lie. Snowden's story will doubtless be discussed and contested for as long as we remember him. But no matter what, this film does a great job portraying his actions as being, whatever else, the actions of a man who loved his country.